What's up guys? This is Derek House from DHFTNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious taco tuna burgers. So let's get to it. The first thing you're going to do is take out a large bowl, four cans of tuna and then drain them. I'm using chunk light and each can is 5 ounces or 142 grams. Add your drained tuna in. And then two extra large eggs. One can of 98% fat free cream of mushroom which is 10 and 3 4 ounces or 305 grams. One packet of the lowest sodium taco seasoning mix that you can find. The one I'm using is 1.25 ounces or 35 grams. 8 tablespoons or 64 grams of wheat germ. Wheat germ is a great substitute for breadcrumbs in most recipes. It's also, as you can see, a great cheap source of healthy fats, fiber and protein. Take out and chop up one cup or 120 grams of celery. Add your chopped celery in. Take out and chop up one cup or 150 grams worth of yellow onion. Add in your chopped yellow onion. Last, we're gonna make some homemade oat flour really quick. So take out either a blender or food processor and put in half a cup or 40 grams of rolled oats. And then just blend or process your oats until they look like flour. And there is your homemade oat flour. Add in your oat flour. Take out a utensil or just use your hands and mix everything together. Preheat your oven on 400, take out a baking sheet and then coat it with some non-stick cooking spray. Next, all you're going to do is shape your mix into burgers. So that they're about that big. Last before the oven, which is optional and you can use whatever type of cheese you want. I like to top a couple of mine with a slice of 2% sharp cheddar. Now into the oven on 400 for around 10 to 12 minutes. After around 12 minutes for me, they do look done, so I'm just going to take them out. And there are your taco tuna burgers. As you guys saw, the burgers are done, so now I'm just going to try a bite. So if you've had a taco before, that is pretty much what these taste like. You really can't taste the tuna at all. Then you have the cheese on there that makes it that much better. One of my favorite ways to prepare my tuna. Absolutely delicious. And for those wondering, they aren't that spicy at all. They have just enough kick to them to give them that taco feel. As for a tip, I like to put mine on some thin sandwich rolls since the burger itself already has some carbs in it. As for the calories in the whole recipe, there's 1,230, 30 grams of fat, 119 grams of carbs, 29 grams of fiber, and 121 grams of protein. So if you make six burgers like I did, in each burger there's around 205 calories, 5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fiber, and 20 grams of protein. Alright guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. And by subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some burgers to finish. Stay healthy.